Is Israel Adesanya underestimating Jan Bohovich? Knuckleheads, welcome to the Fighters Rep, where we give you free fights, interviews, and fight commentary from the mind of a promoter slash attorney. These are two fighters, Knuckleheads, that I just absolutely love. I mean, what's there not to love about Israel Adesanya, who looked like he reached the next level in his last fight against Paulo Costa. I mean, the guy looked absolutely invincible. Again, it could be because Costa had a ridiculous game plan, didn't fight the way he typically fights, which would have been the optimal way, in my opinion, to fight Israel Adesanya. Was trying to fight him on the outside. I didn't really understand it. But nonetheless, you must give credit where credit is due. Israel Adesanya looked like he was the final boss in an NES video game. I mean, the guy was just really, really impressive. He looked like Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That's how fast and amazing he was. Then you've got Jan Bohovic. You know, Jan Bohovic has been this guy who's been counted out over and over and over again. He's a guy who people have constantly looked at as a sort of easy fight for whatever reason, maybe because he's a bit older, maybe because, you know, he's coming out of Poland and people are just not familiar with him or the talent over there in Poland as far as MMA goes. But let me tell you guys something. If Israel Adesanya goes into this next fight against Jan Bohovic and underestimates him in any sort of way, even if he goes in there and doesn't under, underestimate Jan Bohovic, Israel Adesanya could easily get knocked out by Jan Bohovic. Jan Bohovic is a guy who Luke Rockhold... Follow me here for a second. Luke Rockhold was talking down on. Another guy like Israel Adesanya who was coming up from 185 pounds, extremely athletic, long, wiry, a great striker like Israel Adesanya. And the dude got sparked out and put to sleep. Corey Anderson. Corey Anderson, another guy, long, wiry, a bit smaller for a 205er, but quick, probably like Adesanya is going to be. And another guy who got laid out with that big one-punch legendary Polish power. And then, knuckleheads, I mean, I just don't want you guys to overlook this now. And then we had Dominic Reyes, a guy who went life and death with John Jones, who a lot of you on this channel for good reason, believe maybe one of the greatest to ever do it. A lot of people believe he is. Dominic Reyes went life and death with him. A lot of people thought he beat John Jones in that fight. Tall, long, athletic former football player. I mean, you're not going to be more athletic than that guy. And once again, Jan Bohovic found a way to surprise us, to get it done. And to get it done emphatically, he didn't just get it done. He laid a beating on Dominic Reyes that, you know, I honestly hope will not impact Dominic Reyes in the long run because that was, that must have been a disheartening loss for Dominic Reyes, who probably thought he was the next king of the division after his fight with John Jones. And again, I want you guys to look at. I want you guys to look at these guys that Bohovic is beating. Their style, their build, their quickness, their athleticism. All of these guys, in my opinion, are perfect preparation for an Israel Adesanya who's going up to 205 for the first time as an MMA fighter and who has a very similar build and striking-based style 
to all of these guys that Jan Blachowicz knocked out in vicious fashion. Listen, do not underestimate this guy. Do not sleep on Jan Blachowicz. I do believe in Israel Adesanya. I do believe the guy can beat anybody. I really do. I really do. But Jan Blachowicz has shown me in his last few fights, and maybe I'm going out on a limb here, Maybe people think I'm crazy. He's shown me that that guy can sit in the pocket and knock anyone out and strike with anyone and knock anyone out because he's got a lunchbox in each hand that'll keep you full all day long with what he's packing in that lunchbox. Let me tell you, I mean, one shot, one kill. And need I remind you, and I said this, and I reminded you guys of this when Paulo Costa fought Israel Adesanya. I thought Izzy would win because technically he's far superior. And I do think Izzy's superior in 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 striking to Jan Bohovic. But I said this to you guys about the Costa fight. Don't forget the Kelvin Gastelum fight. Don't forget what Kelvin Gaslam did to Israel Adesanya. Don't forget what Jason Wilness did to Israel Adesanya. Don't forget what these pressure fighters have been able to do against Israel Adesanya. And maybe it's not the same Israel Adesanya that was in there with Kelvin Gaslam. But man, when you're comparing a guy, a little guy like Kelvin Gaslam, no disrespect to him, he's an absolute beast, and I got all the love and respect for Kelvin Gaslam. The guy's a beast. But you cannot compare a man of Kelvin Gaslam's stature to a man of Jan Bohovic's stature. Kelvin Gaslam is a guy who can theoretically probably make 170 pounds. Going up in weight for the first time to take on Jan Bohovic, who has hit such a stride as of late at the age of 37 or 38 years old, and who just carries so much power and just looks better every single time and remains so calm in the face of any opponent, man, let me tell you, this is a scary fight for Israel Adesanya. And I'm going to go as far as to say that despite the fact that Israel Adesanya is more skilled and I typically go with the more skilled guy nine times out of ten, I always tell you guys that unless there's some other attribute that balances the scales, I got to say this is a 50-50 fight and I would not be surprised at all if the very cool calm and collected Jan Bohovic walks Israel Adesanya down and takes him out and sends him back down to the 185 pound division right now I gotta say this is a 50-50 fight my question to you knuckleheads is what do you think about this fight who do you think wins this fight if you haven't already hit the subscribe button the bell notification icon next to it join knucklehead nation the most articulate and educated fight channel in the world. Also, the only one that's attached to an actual kickboxing promotion by subscribing and purchasing your gear in the link below. We got shirts, hoodies, masks, tank tops, whatever. You are not only helping me build this channel, you're also helping me build the only kickboxing promotion that matters. Also, we now have the join feature thanks to YouTube. And it's something I'm working on right now uh, where besides purchasing your items in the link below to help us continue to build the promotion, which we definitely need at this time when we can't really do fights, I'm thinking of making a membership for $5 a month if you guys want to help me sponsor and build the promotion. You guys will get shout outs in at least a video letting people know that you're a patron and you're a sponsor of the show and you'll also have access to the live streams when our fights return i think we have the most exciting fights in the world um 
So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Leave that in the comments below. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in because that would be an incredible help. It would be $4.99 a month. You'd have access to the pay-per-views um, and you'd get shout outs on here recognized as a sponsor and uh, you can cancel at any time but obviously once you pay that five dollars you're a member for the month you could cancel the following month but man i would i would love to have you guys help in building this channel and building this promotion man we're the only kickboxing promotion with a pro license in the state of california as far as i know right now and the fight game and these young fighters are in desperate need to get out there and compete so consider it appreciate you guys i look forward to hearing what you guys have to say